up SMT Nation. I found an AT&T 5G Plus site and I want to do some testing. I actually got this uh, this tip from Michael who sent me an email and told me he had gotten uh, 5G Plus to show up on his device in this area. So I, I couldn't see the site because it's kind of off the beaten path sort of. Uh, but what it is, it's actually behind this like, um, I don't know, mechanic shop or something. It looks like an auto care center. And it's in North Olmsted, Ohio, over by Stearns and Lorraine Road. So I'm here testing it. And you will see the 5G Plus icon up right in corner, 5 p.m. on a Saturday. We got a 23 ping, 18 millisecond jitter, no loss on this test. And that's not very good. We got 83 down and 9 up. Uh, let me see if that was just a fluke or if maybe I'm just like under the site. But I did want to give you guys, uh, you know, like a view of the tower. Okay, the speed's picked up. Uh, let's let me show you guys here. All right, so they're gonna be at the top, and I might be a little bit too close to really get a good test. So I actually, I'm gonna drive off and go across the street, but I wanted to get you guys some footage of the the gear. All right, so at the top there, you'll see that they got like the two panels, one in the middle and one on the right. That's doing all their regular, you know, legacy spectrum, and the smaller one on the left appears to be their c-band gear uh that would so that's going to be a 40 megahertz channel of n77 i do want to tell you guys though that's different than the one i just tested over in columbia station they're doing different types of antennas and radios so th this to me that looks like samsung actually that doesn't look like the nokia one that i just tested all right, so this test came in at 169 on the downlink and 18 and a half on the uplink and 34 ping, 10 millisecond jitter and no loss. So kind of, I'm kind of shocked actually at the gear situation and actually the performance isn't great either. Uh, let's go ahead and do a fast.com, see if that makes any difference. Shouldn't be, uh, but again, like I said, I'm gonna go and do some more testing across the street because I might just be too close. Uh, it's a pretty tall site, and they're at the top. I'd say that that site's freaking tall, man. That's like, it's got to be at least 150 feet. It's a, it's a tall one. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this as we kind of complete this test. It'd be T-Mobile. But there's a sprint site that's like a half mile away. So maybe they're coming back to upgrade this, and they're going to shut down that sprint one. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so here's the fast.com. We got 280 down. Uh, 31 on the jitter and then 38 on the uplink. So that test a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and run an nperf test. You guys know I like doing those. Not only can you test like the speed, but you can also test things like video playback performance and uh, what are the other things they do? They do like a zoom test. They do a, like a Google search, the web browsing. Oh, okay. There you guys go. 478 max, 336 average. We'll take the average on this instance. We'll see it's on NSA 5G, so using LT as the backbone. Uplink at like 43 megabits per second average. Let's see what the latency is giving us here. Yeah. Latency on NPERF is never good for whatever reason. The servers, it's just not very good. 55 millisecond or something. I don't really take the latency to heart from nperf from the other guys i do like fast.com and stuff like that like i don't even know what's going on right now latency stuck huh i wonder if that is a dish site it, it kind of looks like a t-mobile site anyway and this thing's hung up come on <laughs> freaking go just get on with it had to use the stop button here restart <laughs> all right we'll run another one why not hope i'm not wasting your time with this what can you do it's we're at the mercy of the functionality of the app now this upgrade must have just happened pretty recently because uh i mean i i drive by this area all the time all the time and i never picked it up so this is probably within the last couple of weeks all right, here we go. Now we're gonna do the Google test, then a Facebook, 
and then Amazon, Zoom, and Wikipedia. And what I'll do for you guys, you guys will see the performance scores and how long it takes. What I'll do for you guys is I'll go ahead and do the LT test too, and then we'll compare it. Wow, the Amazon test was bad. It was like 59%. All right, now it's going to run the video resolution playback test. It'll do a 360p run, and then it'll do a 720p, and then lastly, a 1080p. And then I actually, because I just remembered I could do this, I can go back to the UCLA test and then do the video test on there. And then we'll run the LT, and we'll see if it's any different. Got the streaming test. 360p came in at 95%. That's really good. It's one of the higher scores I've seen. 720p is good at like 92%. This one is the most telling, 1080p. Let's see. Good, 93%. Even better than the 720p. So streaming was awesome. The browsing, it's good. Uh, you can see that rating, it's green. So they're good. I, I usually like to see that in the upper 80s. And then the NPERF scores, I've seen those upwards of around 130,000. All right, 357 down, 45 up, 34 ping on the latest. Right, so we are now in LT only. You'll see it bumped into 5GE. And we can go ahead and run this test. We're going to do fast.com. We'll see if maybe they did a bump to the backhaul. I'm sure they did. at t usually runs their own fiber, too, here. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. All right. 20 ping, 0 0.59 jitter. So the, the ping and jitter, good. <laughs> and we got, like, 114, 115 down. Good stuff. Oh, Oh, that uplink really dropped off, didn't it? Kind of, sort of, might want to be on 5G, right? <laughs> might want to get yourself an N77 compatible device out here. It seems to be making a huge difference for AT&T. So these are very common AT&T uplink speeds for me at 707, 7.07, uh, I should say. And you can see on the 5G Plus, it's much better. Uh, let's go ahead and do, let's do a fast.com here. And then after the fast.com, we'll run it through NPERF. And we'll see how it compares to the 5G+. Plus. You know, a lot of you guys out there hanging on to some legacy LTE devices, it might be time to move on, especially if you're on AT&T and they're starting to upgrade with the 5G+, plus, the N77. Yeah, it's still pretty good on LTE. And by the way, this is an AT&T Business Elite plan. This is the best you can get. All right, 130 down, 36 up. Oh, no, 130 down with a 37 ping. Let's see what we're getting on the uplink. Huh. Maybe that uplink was just a fluke with LT because now it's doing better on the Ookla. It's doing better on the fast.com. Hmm. Looks like 23, 24 megabits per second. All right, fair enough. 22, 21. It's dropping a little bit. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get to nperf here, and let it, let's run it through its paces there and, and check all that it's doing here, full test. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, lots more capacity on the 5G side for sure. Looks like we had some kind of surge there, 109 on the max and then 55 for the average. Uplink, we're back in the 20s. 24 megabits. Let's see what the latency does here. Probably won't be much different than even the 5G. I doubt it. Everything's still being NSA. All right. Now it's going to run it through the browsing test. We'll take a look at the time it takes and then the percentage rating that they do. I kind of like this test. Get the real world action, you know? Sheesh, it timed out on Google. <laughs> 87 Facebook, 80 on Amazon. What are we going to get for Zoom and Wikipedia? 51 on Zoom, 92. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is a very mixed bag. Oh, usually at and is really reliable here, really good. This test isn't indicating it, though. <laughs> All right, now the video resolution playback test with the 360p, 720p, and 1080p. All right, so we got a 94% performance rating for 360p, running the 720p and then 1080p. Kind of nice. It gives you all the 
loading time and if it buffers. All right, 92 for the 720p. All right, so those are good. Let's see the 1080p. Hopefully it's in the 90s. Good, 91%. All right, so for an NPERF score of 86,000, you'll see it dropped off a lot. So in this instance, on this site, whatever factors are in play here, the streaming held up good, the browsing, crap. You'll see how it's like orange rating, the percentage is much lower, 86,000 for the NPERF score, 109 down, 25 up, and 35 latency. So uh, that's what you guys got going on there. Here's the video test on Ookla. I don't know, in this instance, on this site, you're going to want a 5G device that has N77 C-band. All right, here it's running the adaptive bitrate test. I don't know if you guys ever use this on Ookla. Uh, I'll go ahead and run this on the 5G side too, but it'll run it. There, now it's doing 1080p, and I think it also does Quad HD or 4K as well. Yep, now it's doing Quad HD. Now it's doing 4K. Very nice. Handles the 4K no problem with no buffering. Load time at 1282 milliseconds, I guess. Let's see, you could do all You guys will see it there, 5G on. Here with 5G on, we'll look for the indicator to pop on. There it is, 5G plus. It literally activates. <laughs> Once you put a stress on the network, you kind of connect to it there. All right, so we're going to see the lower resolution, then it'll do the 1080p, then it'll do quad HD, and then 4K. We'll see if it scores better, which I believe it should. You can see there's way more capacity on that 5G channel. 40 megahertz of it. And then I'm assuming up there you probably got some low band stuff. and It's probably 10 or 15 megahertz of low band frequency. And then 20 or 40 megahertz of like mid band stuff. The band 2 and band 66. All right, so there you have it. You guys see that load time? Literally like a third of the time with no buffering, 26, 2160p. So there you guys have it. My recommendation is get you an, a newer iPhone, maybe a 12 or a 13, or you know plan for the next upgrade for a, you know for an upgrade for a 5G phone because it's making a difference. And these upgrades are happening fast. I'm really excited about this. I'm just gonna run another test. This, I'm just I'm kind of shocked about the gear. That is not Nokia. That is definitely Samsung. That's the same gear that Verizon is using. And the performance is actually good. That's 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 decent. Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go across the street here. I'm gonna see if it makes a difference when I get a little bit further out for you guys. All right, so hang tight. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over there and run another test for you guys here. All right, 343 down and 11 up. All right, let's do it.